and welcome to Starting With Sheep. Today we're going to cover what equipment you'll need when you're setting up your lambing area. Now there's much the same equipment needed for lambing inside and outside. So I'm going to show you how I set my lambing shed up and I'll also explain whether you'll need that equipment outside as well. Whether you're choosing to lamb inside or outside, it is down to personal preference. Now I choose to lamb inside because I lamb late January, early February. There are people that lamb outside that time of year, depending on which part of the country you're in. It's purely down to convenience for myself, ease, getting them off the wet ground. It also gives my fields a little bit of a rest. So that's why I lamb indoors. So to start with, I'll give you a tour of my lambing shed. Now you don't have to ever think that I have, and you may think, oh, I don't want that or that setup is like I say it's down to your preference and what works best with what you've got. One of the first things you're going to need is a hay rack whether you're inside or outside. Now the ones that you can get on wheels are great if they're outside because you can keep moving it along the field so you don't get lots of mud in one area. This one inside which my hubby's made you can see he's put it at an angle that's so that lambs can't get trapped underneath, the ewes can't get so far against it that they squash lambs. So you need it at an angle. He's made this with some wood and some weld mesh you can get from any agricultural stores. Also in my lambing shed, I've got a pen that I tend to make up. Now I use this pen for um, use that maybe need a bit more feeding. As you can see, I've got one in here now. It enables me to monitor what she's eating. She's actually having triplets, so she needs to eat more than the rest of them. So I've made up a pen that she can go into and eat and drink, and she's got her own licky bucket in there. You don't have to do that. If you're lambing outside, you will need a pen that you can put maybe a sickly you in, or to pen up the ewes with their lambs should you need to. So it's handy to have a pen even if you're outside. Here is their goodie corner. Here in this corner of the barn, I put their licky buckets. They are lifeline buckets. They're high energy and they've got lots of minerals in which aid in late stages of pregnancy. They're also suitable for use to lick and also they can be used afterwards for lambs. Also here, I have a bucket of Himalayan rock salt. Now salt's really good for use. They like to lick it. They'll only lick it if they need it. So it doesn't matter whether they use it or not. Um, but also what's brilliant about this is if you put it in the field after you've lambed, the lambs love it. And it also helps heal any little pin pricks from thistles that they get on their mouth, which also can help avoiding off. One important thing, obviously, is a water trough. Now, in my lambing barn, I've got a nice deep one. Now, that there's a reason for that. If you have lambs born and you're not there and they start wandering around, it's too high for them to get into. If you have shallow water troughs, you can end up with drowned lambs. You also need a nice water trough, obviously, in a field. Lactating and late pregnancy use will drink a lot, so plenty of fresh water is really important. One of the other areas you'll need is somewhere for your mothering up pens. Now, mothering up pens are what they are. They are mothering up. Um, the ewe gets to know the lamb and the lamb gets to know the ewe. I leave mine in there about three days and then I have another area similar to this but with no pens where they can run around and stretch their legs, but I can keep an eye on them that the right lamb's going back to the right ewe before they go out into the field. So this is one of my mothering up pens. Um, I use six foot hurdles long and four foot hurdles wide. That's, um, I've got big sheep, so that's plenty big enough for a single and also a double. As you can see to the left, I've got a hay rack um, never use hay nets in your mothering up pens as lambs can strangle themselves. Also the water there, a nice big bucket opens. The trouble with little buckets is lambs fall head first into them and they can't get out. 
and I've heard of many a drowned lambs in buckets. So nice, wide, deep buckets. Therefore, A, the lamb can't get into it as easily, but if they can, they can get out of it or they can just paddle about in the water. They're not gonna drown. And also, I never feel mine more than halfway up. The grid's on the bottom of my hurdles. That's just to stop the lambs getting into the next pen. You'll also see on the right, I've got a Perspex sheet. That's because the black U on your right there is a bit protective of her lambs and kept banging the hurdles. So I just put that there so they can't actually see them. But you can hang a sheet or something over just so they can't see the other U and lamb. So I hope that's helped you setting up your shed. It's always a nice job setting up the shed ready for lambing, but it's equally as good putting it all away again for the next year when it's all over. So enjoy setting your stuff up and happy sheep keeping.